Hello and welcome uh, from a Caravan Salon uh, Dusseldorf. This is a, a van from Clever Vans, and unusually for Clever Vans, it's quite clever. It's a Duo 540. Uh, it's called, it's only 541 centimeters in length, as you can see. It's on a Citroen. It does say a price there, it says from 47,000. This is going to cost 52 and a half, something like that. And uh, you never take the from price. They just do that as a bit of a joke, I think. Uh, that's the base price and doesn't include delivery or paperwork. So what you've got here is this. You've got your table there. You can sit, sit in front of each other down there. You pull this thing here across. It makes the bed. And then this will come out as well. Now, um, Affinity also does one. I would suggest you have a look at the Affinity one, which is slightly better than this one. But uh, it's definitely an Instagram type of van. And this price, uh, I really think it's uh, it's got a lot going for it. It, it is a absolutely non-standard type of vehicle. Uh, also uh, in here, we've got this absolutely enormous wardrobe absolutely enormous for a camper van that is and in here as well look at all the space in here this is really this really is clever this is really very very good i take my hat off the cat if i were wearing one uh to to um the clever vans for this it's even got a proper sized uh drainage point in there as well the uh i've provided something wrong so there's only one of them sensible sliding door now the question always is of course uh, when you've got a seat up here, you've got to, somebody's got to, you've got to have a driving seat because somebody has to drive the thing. So therefore, the question is, well, you've got well, if you've got a driving seat in, you should really use it. And if you're going to use that, means you've got to put the table behind it. And uh, so, but uh, in this case, it just shows what you can do by um, taking um, not use, using the driving seat only for driving. This seat here will turn round. It's got it's a, a captain's chair or all that. Uh, that's if you're naughty, you get sent there. It's got a fridge down here. It's one of these clever fridges that opens both ways from Dometic. It's got two burners here. It's got a sink in there. It's got storage down there, as you'd expect. Obviously, you can store things under the seats as well, as you, as you uh, nearly always can do, unless the water uh, is, is there. And, uh, and it's got a big uh, roof light as well. And a little one here. It's got lots here, and there's your uh, uh, Truma Combi. You can put your uh, heating on for, uh, and you get your water hot from up there. Um, I think really this is really really clever. So you're either sitting at the table or you're in bed. Or I suppose you could be two of you. One of you wants to sleep, and the other one wants to uh, read. Uh, so in that case, then you don't have to be naughty to go and have to sit in there. There's also a bit of space up here in the bulwark uh, as well and they can keep an eye on what the score is as far as the uh, your water and electricity is concerned now the price for a lot of space in the van is usually a lack of storage but not in this case as we shall soon see this is now more the standard in every vehicle let's have a look around here superb amount of storage at the back and uh, with the affinity they show that you can put a bicycle in. i'm sure you can put a bicycle in this one as well so um on the negative side of course it's not insulated here it is insulated uh, around there um but i'd have to say in my opinion that's a pretty nice vehicle this is the smallest size vehicle that you can get uh so it's a tiny van uh, and still be able to stand up there's no van which is shorter than this that you can stand up inside that is also fully contained as that is to say it's got a toilet inside uh, uh, as well so thanks for watching if you found it interesting and all the best for me in germany